Y'all, what's up everybody once again? My name is Brand Man Sean and today we're going over how to go viral and maintain a career like Lil Dicky. Let's start here. The fact that Lil Dicky never considered himself to be a rapper in the first place. He never even wanted to be a career rapper. What he wanted to be was a comedian. But he wanted to figure out a way that he could stand out from other comedians and he figured why don't I just put these things in a rap if you watch his very first video which was my ex-girlfriend or ex-girlfriend the music kind of sucked but he told a good story and it was pretty funny to the tune of being watched over one million times in one day this is where we start to break things down I've already stated the biggest part of Lil Dicky's success standing out. He was trying to stand out from being a comedian, so he did this rap thing as a part of it, but he then ended up standing out as a rapper and catching this other wave of people just coming at him. He had this video. If you look at the video, the video's funny. If you think about his name, Lil Dicky, what other guy's gonna call themselves Lil Dicky? Pretty much nobody. So yet another thing that made him stand out and people wonder about him. Does a dude got a little penis? I don't know. Don't really care, but I've seen interviews and people actually ask. People might not think this portion about it is serious, but his skin color actually does play a part of it as well. When you talk about the fact that when he started to cross over into black media and the black hip hop, because hip hop has become so huge and worldwide now that they're actually segmented racially portions of hip hop, weirdly enough too. He stood out as the one big white rapper in black media at the time. In the same way, it seems like it could only be one huge woman at a time in rap. But what about g Easy? If you think about g Easy, g Easy's probably actually way bigger than Lil Dicky as an act. However, somehow, someway, g Easy really hasn't made his way into the black side of hip hop, particularly black media outlets for the most part when you talk about, let's just say, The Shade Room or Breakfast Club and all those stations. And then yet again, he continues with his standing out with novel concepts like the song Save That Money in a genre where so many people are talking about spending money, spending money, bling bling, throw money at strippers. And yet still, he adds on to that with this novel concept of actually trying to save money in the video. For those of you don't know Lil Dicky for the song video save that money he attempted to not spend any money on the video he was knocking through on he was knocking on doors of rich people like hey can we use your house for the video I don't know it was like 50 times that he got turned down or something until eventually this old lady said sure you can use our house he used that house for the video T-Pain actually called and asked if he could be in his video and he used some of T-Pain's video for his own video all in all at the end of the day he really didn't have to spend any money for the Save That Money video, which is just another part of the concept that blew him up even more because it created more attention, more media around him. The entertainment business is all about getting attention. Can't say that enough. That was like four or five different ways that he used to stand out as a rapper, comedian. And by the way, the Save That Money video also got over a million views in 17 hours. And before I forget, another example of how important and how beneficial standing out can be, think about Drake. Drake actually used singing intentionally to help separate him from other rappers. And it's not that other rappers had never done any kind of singing. You got Ja Rule, Kanye. But Drake was the first person, particularly in his era, to really fully commit as a singer and then a rapper or whichever you want to go. And finally, we're just now getting to the number two when we move into the how he sustained a career part. Lil Dicky's work ethic is actually very serious. If you look at his first song that my ex-girlfriend, his rap skills were uh, but now he's at the point where when he did the double XL cover and they did the freestyle cypher, his was on point, like for real. The dude's a beast in his own right now. And then number three, surprise, surprise, authenticity. How many times are you gonna hear that in a brand man shine video? But let me read this quote from Lil Dicky himself. I think my authenticity is a big thing. You can tell that I'm pouring my heart and soul into what I'm doing. And I'm gonna leave it at that. The people that rock with him and can relate to him, they F with him hard because he's authentic. So now he's on a trajectory where he actually has a real career in this rap thing, even though he was just trying to use it to get into the door as a comedian. Go figure. That's it. Hit that subscribe button.